A lot of you guys have been asking me about a Ninja Forms plugin, so this video is for you. I'm the Ladbub guy and today we'll look into advanced WordPress form plugins with features like payment getaways, CRM integrations and stuff like that. I will compare two plugins which are both paid. However, if you just want a simple and free form plugin alternatives, check out my other video about the free form plugins. In this video I will compare Ninja Forms and Captain Forms. I will be comparing the 299 Ninja Forms plan with the 195 Captain Form plan. So stay tuned. First, let's start with the Ninja Forms. I bought the business bundle for the purpose of this video. Creating a form with Ninja Forms is very easy. You just go to the Forms tab and click on Add New. Then you have a variety of different fields and elements you can add by just clicking on them. Then you can reorder them by dragging them up or down. A cool and not very usual element is the timed submit, which will display the submit button after specified seconds. This might be very useful in some cases. Another very cool thing is the multi-part form feature. It allows you to split your long form into smaller pieces so fewer people will be scared by the length of it. To use it, you just have to click on enable multi part and then drag the fields you want to be on the second or third part of the form. I like it because the transitions between the parts is done with nice light animations without leaving the page. Then you can go to layout and styles to modify the size and place of each field. Just select how many columns you want and then resize the fields. Here again you can drag and drop them. Also you can modify the form styles which means the colors, borders and stuff like that. However this feature is not very usual so some of you might find it a bit frustrating to create the form exactly as you want it to be. After you are done with the fields. You should go to email and actions to configure where the data should be sent and in this case it will be MailChimp. Also here you can set up the success message, email and redirect. Then in the settings you can set up the PayPal payment settings, restrictions, multipart and save progress settings. Finally you can click on preview to see what you have done so far. Then you can insert this form wherever you want using the shortcode or template function. It's a very simple to use plugin with great features but it has a few drawbacks. For example I'm using Aweber for my autoresponder and I bought the business bundle to find out that the Aweber integration is a separate add-on which I should buy. Also in the business bundle the only payment processor which is included is the PayPal Express. And I thought to myself that this is very limiting for a $300 plugin. And that's when I found Captain Forms. It is cheaper in the first place and it comes with so much more integrations that I don't even know them all. But it's nice they are there. I'm talking about CRM, email marketing, file management, project management, event management, help desks, social and developer tools. It's all included in the price. Pretty much it have all the features of Ninja Forms plus a lot more for less money and it's more visual and on top of that you don't have any limit for the sites you can install it on. I instantly liked it because of the way these guys understand support. They have integrated a live chat into your dashboard so you can chat and get help right where you build your forms. It's the first time I see something like that. Anyway, let's build a form. So. First of all, you have about 30 different pre-made form templates so you can just choose what kind of form you want and then modify it a little bit if necessary. That can save you a lot of time. So let's say I want to create an event registration form. I can modify or remove the questions here, also change the location on the map. Let's say I have done this, now let's go to the settings to show you what you can do. First, the notification tab is where you set how you will be notified for a new form submission and if you want the plugin itself to send an email to the person who have completed the form. Then in the themes tab you can choose from pre-made color schemes, 
or also choose your own colors. You can add a logo and modify pretty much everything and it's all visual. You see what you're modifying in real time. Then the third party apps. I don't even know what all of these are, but I think if you recognize the logo, you will know. I just want it connected to my Aweber account. Then in the payments tab, you can specify the price and payment processors. And here you can play a little bit with it. You have options for discounts or forming prices depending on the answers, which is very, very cool. Then in the payment processors, you can choose from 11 different payment processors and also you can use them all. In the security tab, you can set password protection and limit form submissions on different rules. Then in the rules tab, you can set the conditional logic. For example, if you have a question asking, will you bring friends with you? When answered yes, a new field can appear asking how many friends you will bring with you. You also have autoresponder rules and form rules, so you can make your form very smart. In the translations tab, you can add languages to your form, so nobody lives without understanding the questions. This is great for international traffic. And then in the advanced tab, you can allow your visitors to save their process and continue with the form later, as well as other form and quiz options. Then when you're ready, you can publish the form again using short code or function call. So Captain Forms is very powerful plugin. It has so many features and it is still very user friendly. And that's the reason why I'm using it on my websites. So that's my answer to all of you asking me about Ninja Forms. I think it's not worth the money. However, if you really like Ninja Forms for some reason and decide to go with it, before buying a bundle, make sure it includes everything you will need. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel and if you see the WP Lightbulb for the first time, make sure you check out the free revenue optimization course for WordPress on WPLightbulb.com. There are some common mistakes that website owners make which cut their profits. If you want to make sure you are not making them, click on the link below and get your instant access.